everyone, my name is Zippy, and today, hello, hello, what are you doing on my house? Well, you came in late, and I'm your intern, so I'm filling in for you. Mr. Clambert never comes in late. Well, you just came in late, and also, your name is not Mr. Clambert, it is just Clambert. Well, I'm going to push you off my house now. You can't do that. You'll get fired. Well, what if I don't push you off my house? Hmm, that would be okay. Earthquake! Sorry about that. There is a natural disaster just where Zippy happened to be. Anyway, here is the real stinking genius, and my name is Mr. Clambert. It's just Clambert! Can someone please take her away? No! No! I'm the real genius! Sorry about that interruption. People usually call me a stinking genius because I'm really smart and because I stink. But that's not the point. I'm just really smart. Anyway, today we are going to discuss um, a topic that is very near and dear to my heart. New Year's Eve. Which is today. So, Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. Huh, huh, huh. Anyway, and uh, what we will be discussing on New Year's Eve is uh, some problems that people have been having. So today we will be discussing the difference between in a year and since last year slash next year. And you'll see what I mean. Starring Mahi! First up, showering! I haven't showered in a year! Ew. Versus... I haven't showered since last year! Ha ha ha, that's funny. That was just one example of some of the problems people have on New Year's Eve. They make jokes about showering or other things like that, but they use it very, very wrong. But since I'm a stinking genius, oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't use stinking, but since I am a genius, I will help you with that problem. You cannot say, I haven't showered in a year, because that signifies 365 days. That is a big difference between since last year or next year. And let's give you another example. I haven't eaten in a year. You're fired. Versus... No, no, I mean, I haven't eaten since last year. Oh, huh, you're on fired. And now you can see that since last year, or next year, as in I'll see you guys next year, signifies the transition between December 31st and January 1st. And that could be an hour or even a few minutes. So that would mean that when you say you'll see your friends next year, that could mean a few minutes. Or when you haven't showered since last year, that could also mean a few minutes. And that is a big difference between 365 days. I'll show you some more examples. Wow, I haven't talked to you in a year. <laughs> so our conversation yesterday meant nothing to you. No, I mean, our relationship means nothing to you. That's it. We're over. Wait up, Mom. I haven't slept in a year. How are you still awake? I haven't blinked in a year. How are your eyes not like, okay, everyone, everyone, stay behind the red line. Could it possibly be, could this possibly be the one Zubal that has never blinked in a year? Behind the red line, please, behind the red line. There is no red line. True, true. Everyone get as close as you want. Yeah, yeah. Now tell us, how have you never blinked in a year? Well, it's quite simple. It's quite, it's quite simple, actually. It's, no. No! No! Alright, everyone, go back. He's a fake. He's another fake. Everyone, go back. Aww. I haven't changed my clothes in a year! Well, technically, you've never changed your clothes because you can't wear clothes because you're a fish. Why do you have to be so illogical? I haven't gone to the bathroom in a year! Uh, that's kind of nasty. Wait, wait, wait! That might change right about now. And there you have it, folks. That's the solution to the difference between any year and last slash next year. Now, if you ever want to tell one of these jokes to your friends, well, let's see, what was that joke again? I've been watching you all year. All right, well, that's it. Goodbye.